So today we're going to be doing a Path of Ecstasy reading. Um, it is going to be a specific spread from the Mayan Light Language Oracle. It's called the Path of Ecstasy spread. And first card will be your greatest joy. The second card will be your obstacle. And the third card is your bridge example. Um, something that would create a bridge between the two positions. So for example, um, something that can help you to bridge the gap between your greatest joy and your obstacle. So that, what was that noise? <laughs> so that you can fulfill your path of ecstasy. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So I'm going to be using this, the Mayan um, Galactic Language of Light Oracle. And we're going to be ending with a doo -doo 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 -doo, white light oracle card. So without further ado, let's get a going. Uh. All right. Just clean this table up and yet. All right. So the first card we're going to pull is for your greatest, it's greatest joy, right? <clears throat> greatest joy. And if I seem a little tired, I have been, the past two days, I have been doing lots of work with Moldavite. And if you've never worked with Moldavite before, <laughs> Moldavites can be a very exhausting stone, crystal, whatever, um, meteorite, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, to work with because it is very high frequency. And so until your body adjusts and gets used to the frequency of the Moldavite, it will kick your ass and make you um, feel a little bit um, out of sorts, drained um, at times. So the weather is changing here um, where I live in Michigan, as you can see. Um, I have a sweatshirt on. It's very chilly in this home. And I still have my air conditioner in because I like to get very cold when I sleep at night. But I think I might even give and get, get it out because it's been really cold here. All right, so let's go on to your greatest joy. What? Um, do we need to see? First of all, let me thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages and for allowing me to be a direct channel for the collective. Um, if you've found this reading, then it is for you. And it's a timeless reading, so... We are going to find your greatest joy in life. So this would be um, what someone would call your um, soul purpose or your life purpose. That which will give you the greatest fulfillment and the greatest abundance. So if you found this reading, have no doubt in your mind that it's for you. And I made this reading for you. All right. Greatest joy. Greatest joy. Greatest joy. What do we got? Greatest joy. All right. So we have Ben. See that? Ben. I'm gonna put it right in my rack, little rack thing. Okay, so Ben, it's pronounced Ben. 
It is the common Mayan word for cane. And the qualities that it resonates with is fluid reference points in time and space. Time space travel, Skywalker, <laughs> angelic messenger. So some of you are literally um, very connected to the angelic realm. Pillars of heaven, courage, new directions, mysterious journey. That's interesting. And compassion. So it resonates with the crystals um, quartz. Oh, that's interesting because I literally have this right in front of me right now. Look at this. Doo -doo. And the heart chakra is one of the symbols. It resonates with number 13, which represents universal movement. Um, let's see what else we can, what else is popping out. An affirmation that resonates with Ben is, I am a pillar of the invisible temple that brings heaven to earth. So it's literally about being a sacred conduit for spirits, being the messenger in between the worlds so that you can bring source messages to the collective. <clears throat> so if you didn't know that that's what you are, well, you are. Okay, it also represents spiritual awakening. Okay, so it says, Come with me, feel the pillar of ecstasy that now grounds through you. Be filled with the truth that joins two realms. Heaven is where you stand. I am the secret of the heart. Listen to my secret. Here I am that I am. Be sensitive to a major shift in the way you perceive and relate to your world. Old points of reference are changing. Watch for openings and opportunities. Have the courage to take risks, calculated ones of course. As you experience your growth edges, the places where you feel unsure and unfamiliar, be willing to journey into the unknown. <clears throat> Excuse me. In this mysterious place, changing reference, reference, I can't talk. In this mysterious place, changing reference points creates a quantum leap. Holy crap. Skywalker, receive the angelic message. Discover the realms of interdimensional travel within you. Told you being a traveler between the worlds. I just said that. Expand your reference points to become the time space traveler. So getting messages between the space between time, quantum leaping, um, space travel. Your growth edges hold the greatest magic. In the process of exploring these edges, you develop understanding and compassion for others who, like you, are using this earth experience for their growth and their evolution. Explore, expand, remember your wings. A mysterious journey awaits you, messenger of light, when you have the courage to step into a new reality. Okay, so that's pretty amazing. Wow. I'm just seeing if there's anything else that, um, actually I am, I'm going to read this, The Magical Child. It's a little poem that comes with the card. I think it's beautiful. The Magical Child. I am Ben. The, I mean, all of the Oracle cards have a Magical Child poem. I am Ben, Skywalker, time space traveler and gentle messenger of the light. I am the touch of angelic grace. Once embraced in my robes of light, a new tone is struck. Sublime transfiguration becoming in you, the fruit of divine love's yearning for itself. Oh, that's beautiful. I am the Skywalker who has come to earth entering this time and dimensional reality to initiate vision in this age of masks with few eyes. So yeah, we, 
we already know that a lot of us light workers and star seeds have come here to earth to help with the ascension process i am being one of them we chose this life right to help awaken the masses to the message so that they can remember who they truly are remember that they are a soul in a human body connected to god source I reveal the sweet power in the simplicity of love as I awaken with my silken touch the resonance of heaven you have yearned for. The new harmonic octave has arrived. The song of the future returning to itself now pulsates through the frequencies of earth. Even now its tender promise quickening within every cell of humanity that these heavenly frequencies return in this time of the great shift to draw the shimmering center of humanity up to embrace the pillars of heaven whose beams descend from the once and future dream longing to awaken oh this is amazing isn't it beautiful winged child who walks in wisdom and tenderness thou art innocent laughter and flowered heart open wide and celebratory passion for this dream is vitally alive. And I, the Cosmic Pied Piper. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. And what a synchronicity. I have a friend who recently um, posted something on YouTube about that, the Pied Piper. His name is Cosmic Ray um, on YouTube. So if you guys have not given him a follow or a subscription you should do so he is a um harmonics light activator and he will help you on your ascension process but he said something about the cosmic pied piper okay and i the cosmic pied piper pied piper extend to you now my gentle hand let us take a free fall dive into the unknown abandon your fears it's literally what it says with unwavering trust step upon my star path spanning dimensions like a luminous bridge oh my god that's beautiful <laughs> joyfully we will dance awaken the dream on the altar of the present moment which is now the platform of sacred delight joining heaven and earth Move in uncharted territory with protean reference points, unveiling the one true identity. I am Ben, here to bridge you with a remembered message from your own heart. You are a pillar of light on earth and heaven is where you stand. So yes, we are in the new earth heaven on earth and those of you that are not experiencing it is because your mind is not opened enough your heart is not open enough to be experiencing pure bliss and pure joy pretty much at all moments at all times <clears throat> and and i'm not saying that this new earth this heaven that we've created on earth you know star seeds light workers is perfect and it's going to be bliss all the time but if you can change your perception to only see the joy and the bliss in your life, then it makes a hell of a lot of difference. All right, so that is that was your greatest joy. So basically you are meant to be a messenger and a pillar of light for the new earth, anchoring in these new energies and spreading the message of ascension. <clears throat> and we are going to look up your obstacle to that, okay, now. What is the obstacle? So what is the obstacle to this greatest joy? What is the obstacle right now for whoever is watching this reading, for whoever found this reading, this, their beautiful pillar of light energy. I'm going to go ahead and put this card back in there. What is their greatest obstacle to their bliss and their joy? Please, spirit. Ancestors, angels, star family, all of you. 
are always welcome in this circle of energy in my life on a daily basis. Those of you that guide me, Anubis, the Oath, all of you, what is their obstacle? Their obstacle, your obstacle is dissonance. This is a, I think this is a lens card. Yes, I'm pretty sure. Whoops. So let me go ahead and just find it really quick. 140. <laughs> That's not it. <laughs> That's the wrong one. Okay, I found it. So dissonance. I was wrong. It's not a lens card. It's a number card. It's the number 11 in the Mayan language. It means stripped down to essence, marrow of light. Beyond definition, your soul takes flight. So it resonates with the qualities of change, disintegration, letting go, stripping away, complexity, moving to simplicity, innovator, and systems buster. So basically, um, what is is holding you back and what is your um, obstacle is not being able to let go. Um, looking at things as, you know, them being too complex, not seeing that life doesn't have to be that complex. Life can be extremely simple. Um, and overthinking things and letting it get in the way of your true purpose. Um, because it says 11 is the ray of dissonance, the foundation of self combined with the foundation of essence self, cataclysed by the points of unity. So this is about integrating all parts of yourself, mind, heart, soul, body, everything integrated and working it, you know, for your highest good. This is about listening to the resonance of your soul as it integrates with your logic. Does that make sense? Hold on one second. Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys have to hear this. So it says, 11 is a process of disintegration, stripping away the layers down to your core essence. Unity, the great illuminator, is transforming patterns and structures freeing you from things that no longer serve your emerging wholeness. See, I said, letting go of these things, you know, integrating every parts of your soul. It says, look through the surface appearance of your process and let complexity dissipate. I just said that. See, I said, let, you're letting, you're taking things, you're making things too complex and it needs to be more simple. It doesn't have to be as, as, Difficult as you're making it, okay? See, it says, let complexity dissipate, becoming the blessing of simplicity, okay? In drawing the number 11, cherished ideals, beliefs, and images of all kinds are being brought up for you to re-examine, illuminate, and transform. Examine what appears dissonant in your life. Let it go, Okay? Embrace the disintegration process without resisting it or judging it. The rigid walls of your boundaries are, oh wait, the rigid walls of your resistance are being broken down. Wow. Going through your resistances and boundaries prepares a space for greater wisdom. You are becoming an open system. See, when you do that, when you do all of that and get rid of all of that extra gunk, you're going to become an open channel to receive greater messages from source and your higher self. If you've drawn this card, you're being called to an innovator. You are being called to be an innovator, a systems buster, or an agent for change. I told you. Likewise, that is over anything. I'm sorry. Anything that is overdefined or inflexible is fair game for change. See? Likewise, anything that presently defines and limits you is being stripped away. 
So these boundaries are being stripped away for your greatest good. Allow the stripping to happen. Allow the crumbling of, okay? Expect clearing and change. As your facade crumbles, <laughs> See, you can't make it up. As your facade crumbles and your walls come tumbling down, the true illumination of yourself bursts through. That's beautiful. We are going to do the last card, which is the bridge, right? The bridge. One second. Okay, let's find your bridge. I paused my phone at 2030. That's incredible. Okay. All right. Um... What is the bridge connect? <laughs> what is the bridge connecting these two um, seemingly different paths? One where they're finding their greatest timeline and becoming the voice of Source God and the angels, the messenger of the angels and the messenger of God, and. The other, where the ego and anything that is not serving the soul and the higher self is being stripped away. What is the bridge between these two paths and how can we ease the collective into this stepping into this role that is so greatly needed right now? So know that if you found this message that this is definitely spirit and your ancestors and your angels talking to you and giving you the message and the confirmation that yes, this is exactly where you need to be. This is exactly what you need to be doing. What is the bridge, please? What is the bridge here? What is the connecting bridge that is going to ease the two paths of this journey? -er? Okay, the bridge. Oh, Lord, this is a word I cannot pronounce. <laughs> Kowak. Kow Kowak. Kowak. Oh, Lord. Let's look it up. I'm going to pause it. Okay, so I did pronounce right. It is Kawak. Um, it is the common Mayan words for word for storm, fire, and rain. It means final surrender, purification, transformation, reunion. Wow, ironically, and so. <laughs> I, as you all know, I am a twin flame reader, love reader. This is what I do. It is my soul path. So all of these readings, though they may not appear to be like these readings that I do, though they may not appear to be love readings, all of the readings that I do are things that spirit wants you to know in order to find the fastest path to your union. Okay. So all of these all of this advice that I give you is, you know, to help you get into union faster in order to help anchor these new earth energies for the new earth. And it literally says reunion. So, you know, getting into union with your twin is going to be one of the things that is going to assist you. Um, it's going to be one of the greatest assistance, one of the greatest, um, assisting energies for your um, life purpose or soul path okay it says activation of your light body thunder being Ooh, that's a synchronicity lightning path initiation by fire wow that is also a synchronicity and ecstasy of freedom okay so the symbols are thundercloud, lightning, and the white owl. All great sinks. It resonates with the number 19. Okay, so the meditation for Kawak 
is enter the wave of ecstasy beyond the finite dance of the swirling veils. Fragments of the greater self gather, moving homeward. Rise up unveiled. Horizons await. Wow. I am purifying and transforming myself, igniting my light's body and healing all separation. So this is about healing all um, false beliefs of separation because we are never separated from the collective or from our twin soul, twin flame. <clears throat> um, we are always, always connected and we can feel each other. <clears throat> we get downloads from the collective. We also feel what the collective is feeling. And we're also very much energetically intertwined and connected with our twin soul. So <clears throat> we always feel them energetically on a certain level. All right, the discoverer, I call out to you, my light body self, to embrace the lightning strike of the thunder beings. This is incredible. Through my pilgrimage into the unknown, through the purple flames, there it is, Genevieve, I hope you're watching this, <laughs> of transmutation, I return to a home that I never left. I might cry. You're coming home, beauties. In receiving Kawak, you are entering into a time of profound quickening and transformation. This is the final surrender of the ego into essence and the arms of the divine self. I knew this message was going to be important. Have you come to the edge of what you have known yourself to be? I have. I don't know if you... All are experiencing this right now, but I definitely have been on the last legs of my complete and utter destruction of my ego of who I thought I was. Kawak beckons you to step into a fire that changes every level of your being, even the underlying structures of your life. This is a complete destruction of everything that is no longer serving you for your highest good it's literal humongous tower energy step into the unknown your metamorphosis has begun kawak helps you move from apparent separation into reunion We just sit on that for a second. <laughs> Can we just sit on that for a second? <laughs> that is probably one of the most incredible things I've read in a really long time. I need I need some water. For some of you, this will be an actual, this is an actual guide map to your twin soul union. For some of you, this will be the final steps back to yourself, the steps to your peace, the missing piece, the link that you've been waiting for, the moment that you've been waiting for, the truth unlocked within yourself. Knowing that the answers that you've always wanted have always been inside of your soul. <laughs> My heart is so full right now. <laughs> I knew something beautiful was going to come out of this reading. I'm literally, I'm tearing up. <laughs> okay, we're going to keep going. I'm sorry. Okay. Here we go. You are at a crossroads. You are in the midst of a personal revolution, clearing old patterns, past experiences, judgments, memories, and expectations. You are being purified and quickening into your light body, activated for rebirth and entering unity consciousness. 
Kawak prepares you to go through an apparently insurmountable wall. This is going through, going through walls where there was nothing before. This is going through doors where there was none. There was no door and then you look up and there's a big, huge double door and you're like, where did that come from? <laughs> and the intense feelings around this wall provide the very fuel that will propel you through it. These feelings are the access to your hidden power and your potential. Be purified by the cleansing rain and transmuting lightning of Kawak. Wow. Feel the embrace of the thunder beings. Discover the freedom of the true adventurer, the freed actor who can play any part at any moment without attachment. This is about letting go of the attachments to things that are no longer serving you. This is letting go of the way you think things ought to be in your life. This is letting go of um, any thought forms which you know no longer need to be there. This is an opening up of your restrictions and your um, limited systems of beliefs. This is a complete paradox and a complete flipping of everything that you thought you knew. Trust your essence self to offer you this freedom. This is going to be your game changer. This is going to be what's going to create your freedom. So do not doubt yourself. If you have found this video, this all of this message is for you. You're experiencing all of this right now. Spirit is saying they're watching you. They're guiding you. They're right there as you experience all of these heavy lifting of these energies which have been holding on to you this devil energy this clinging of this these old um energy systems would have been which have been literally dragging you down to the, into the depths of whatever it is that you've been experiencing despair sadness depression whatever it is it's done it's done this is your new age of awakening right now. Through Kawak, allow yourself to become a master player in the great glass bead game. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds crazy. You guys are going to, someone's going to know what the fuck. It's going to mean something to somebody. <laughs> That's incredible. All right, we are going to do... We are going to end with a white light oracle card. One second. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. My littles needed something. All right. So what is the final message? Spirit guides, ancestors, angels, source God. That the collective. I'm sorry, Anubis. I didn't mean to leave you out there. Anubis. Um, Thoth. What are the final messages that the collective needs to hear what is the final message that you want them to know about their beautiful path to what is it what reading did we what was it called path to x path to ecstasy that's incredible okay i thought i was gonna say path to joy but it's path to ecstasy which is an even greater like twist on joy it's ecstasy ecstasy like this just that word it just who makes me shiver okay all right so let's go what we got final message from the white light is this like the one we want alabaster tablet of layla what alabaster Tablet of Layla. That's a beautiful card. Number 41. Wow. Okay. That's another synchronicity for me as well. 41. Let's find her. You are remembering at a soul level. Wow. See all of this about remembering who you are. You are tapping into greater awareness and an understanding of your highest life purpose. 
Oh my God. See, you cannot make it up as I'm touching, touching my Moldavite. Um, it's insane. An understanding of your highest life purpose shall become even clearer to you. This may evoke unsettling change within you, but that change is necessary for a new way to manifest. You are protected and guided at all times, especially when you feel uncertain at your course. You are truly loved. <laughs> I'm not crying. You are. <laughs> okay, we're both crying. The angel. See? Angels. I told you guys. The angel Layla heralds from Talmudic scriptures. Unlike any other angel, she is specifically described as a feminine being. Layla is a reminder that there is a place only the feminine can fill. If we attempt to live our lives skewed towards the masculine, we will miss out. There is great value in masculine tendencies towards exploration, adventure, progress, and development. However, the feminine tendencies towards compassion, acceptance, kindness, and mercy are a balancing necessity. For humanity su to survive, these dual wisdoms, dual, dual, dual wisdoms need to find balance and integrate into mature expression in every human heart. The appearance of Layla in a reading suggests the feminine must lead at this time. Oh, it's the rising of the divine feminine. Allow the way to be shown rather than directing a path based on your current perspective. So allow for spirit to show you your path. Trust that the path will be laid out for you when you need it the most, when you are completely lost and afraid or um, confused as to what the next step is, which is really crazy because I have been so feeling like that lately feeling like I just want to give up on my channel, like it's not going anywhere, it's not providing any abundance for me, and yet I just cannot seem to give up this path that I feel like is the spark of my soul, and yet, you know, it hasn't yielded any great gifts for me yet, and so... I've been feeling really confused lately, like, am I on the right path? Am I going the right way? And so I just have to trust that, you know, when I'm ready, the path will be revealed, the next step of my journey. And you guys have to trust that as well. We're all humans going on this journey together. One second. Okay, so we're going to continue reading. Sorry about that. My littles. Layla... You know, I have three littles, right? One is 10, one is five, and the other one is four. Layla is a guardian angel watching over all transitions, including the transition of the soul into the embryo during conception and the guiding of the soul out of the body and into the realms of light when a physical life draws to a close so she's the angel of death. It's beautiful. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like I'm going to cry. Alabaster was lauded by the ancient Egyptians as a guardian stone, which leads the soul towards the light during times of transition. It's incredible. The alabaster tablet of Layla indicates that you are navigating a significant trans transition. It may be that your outer life is going through a change, or it may be that inner changes are happening within your soul or both. I have been definitely feeling that energy of just shutting so many things in my life that I thought were meant for me and realizing that very quickly that they were not meant for me and you know all of these false paths that I've been going on false relationships and 
Um, I feel like they were all sort of leading me into like what my soul really needed and not what my soul wanted, but what my soul needed, if that makes sense. So there's been this really heavy energy of transmutation and um, this whole initiating by the fire energy again. This whole death and Scorpio energy has been really heavy now during this um, fall season and during these retrogrades. You may not know how to trust tra 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 you may not know how to traverse the shifting inner and outer landscapes, but the oracle advises you that this great angel is guiding you faithfully and effectively. In the Talmud, Layla, in the Talmud, I think it's Talmud, in the Talmud, Talmud, Layla teaches wisdom to all souls before they are born. She then strikes the upper lip of the infant at the moment of birth, creating the indention at the upper lip and causing the child to forget everything they know. This right here. Life is then the journey of reconnection and rediscovery. See, finding your way back home. <laughs> this is, I'm sorry, I'm seriously going to cry. So this is the second, <laughs> the second um, card what we've gotten about returning home. And they say during the twin soul journey, the whole journey is about finding your way back home, home being who you are, back home to yourself. Therefore, finding your way back home to the person also, which feels like home to you, right? But the journey is first about finding your way back to you, which is your first home, right? Yourself, who you are at the essence of your soul. It's finding your way back to yourself. Like, if you have not seen my, one of my um, significant journey um, videos, it's called The Journey Back to Yourself is a Soul on Fire, or maybe it's a Heart on Fire, but it's in two parts, and it was about my false twin journey, and the, the start of my twin flame journey, which is sort of cracked me open, and I... I had um, a significant dark night of the soul during that moment, during those moments. And I talk about that and how my, my false twin really sort of um, introduced me to the idea of the twin souls and, you know, awakening and all of those things. And so, you know, he did play a significant role in my life, but at the moment it felt like utter torture in hell <laughs> I mean it really did and I couldn't see the rainbow <laughs> in that dark cloud and so now to feel this energy of like full circle just being cracked open and you know to love it's it's just an incredible feeling <laughs> that's all I can say uh okay so, and I'm just, I'm crying tears of joy because it's all beautiful. Okay. Okay, so it says the alabaster tablet is a crystalline scripture. Its vibration encourages the soul to seek the light and the spiritual path, sparking remembrance of inner truth. It helps us remember the sacred purpose for which we were born. See, I told you, your sacred soul purpose. If you feel out of your depth or in need of more information or understanding, this oracle reassures you it is okay to not know everything right now. Ah, oh, I needed to hear that. Thank you. The answers you need shall become clear at the right time. All is within. So all of the answers are inside of you. I just said that earlier. Layla is maternal, protective, and devoted to the human collective. Her name can translate as night Oh my God, that's beautiful. She is able to tra 
traverse our own spiritual nights, whether they be the periods before, after, I'm sorry about the background noise, or during our lives, when we're going through a dark night of the soul. I cannot with these synchronicities. I'm sorry. Okay. So I was just talking about my dark night of the soul. And then here that comes. And I cannot. Sometimes I literally cannot believe the way the universe and the ancestors and the guides put it all together like this in this package right in front of you guys in front of the camera like there's no tricks i didn't i didn't read this reading beforehand i didn't peek at anything and it's just always amazing to me when stuff like this happens because it's like this is like your confirmation that these messages are not from I mean, yes, they are some in a way from me, but they're not really from me. They're from my higher self. They're from the ancestors and the angels and the guides that are here to assist us along this path. And that's why it's so important to show gratitude because, I mean, there's times when, when stuff like this happens when you literally know they're here. You feel they're here. And it's incredible. It is incredible. It is just incredible. <laughs> okay okay so whether you're going through a dark night of the soul Layla is there hold on one second hey you guys I'm so sorry there was a lot of background noise I had to this message is so important and so I just really have to make sure that you guys can hear me clearly okay um Layla is there reminding us that spirits will always show a way and with the, within us is the wisdom to find it. So this is about knowing that in the darkest moments of your life, like I was just saying, that was one of the darkest moments of my life. It was my first dark night of the soul and it literally cracked me open. It was something that I really, really wanted and thought I wanted. You know, this person became like this holy grail to me. And when I discovered that it, was, it wasn't it was what I thought it was at the time, it wasn't a twin flame connection, but something else. And I felt like he had chose someone over me. I was absolutely devastated. And it activated, you know, all of these um, feelings of insecurity and abandonment and all of these trauma, um, these traumatic energies, which needed to be transmuted and, um, embraced and loved and released. And at the time it didn't feel like that. <laughs> it just felt like incredible pain and rejection and sadness and despair. So this is about trusting that all of those things are not happening to us. They're happening for us so we could be the greatest versions of ourselves and stepping into that moment of realization and into your full power and knowing this is why all of this happened, right? Okay, crystals are embodied lights and alabaster in particular emanates the white light frequencies. It is highly reputed as a drawing stone, absorbing negative energies and attracting the light of spirits into your heart and life. Literally, as I'm reading this, I am seeing like light codes of light on this freaking, um, on this booklet. I've never experienced anything like that in my life and it's tripping me out a little bit. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was just like reiterates that this is like a really powerful message for someone. The alabaster tablet is created from a sheet of alabaster that energetically sheets the soul. Oh my God, that's beautiful. Deflecting interference through its invisible protective shield. Wow. This oracle encourages you to perform a spiritual cleansing that feels right for you. Sealing your work with the protective shields of white light. 
You can accomplish this by calling upon the alabaster tablet of Layla, combining the sacred earth medicine of alabaster and the celestial angelic protection of Layla using the healing process below. And then it gives you a little healing process that you can do. Wow. I'm not going to give you the healing process. Um, I may put it on my Etsy shop as a um, healing ritual for those of you that are interested. If you're interested, let me know. I can put it on my Etsy shop for like, I don't know, $10. Um, if you're interested and I can just record it like a video like this and walk you through it. Um, if enough people are interested, I, I will put it on my Etsy shop. As a healing ritual, I'm not going to do it if there's only like, you know, two people that want it. If there's more than five, I'll, I will definitely do it. Um, so let me guys know, let me know you guys if, if you'd be interested in that. Um, I would definitely feel guided to do it. This has been such a beautiful reading. I'm <laughs> feeling so, I'm buzzing right now. My whole entire body is just energetically pulsating with feelings of bliss and love and I don't know it's it's just it's an incredible 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 feeling um okay so I do have a new Etsy sh um I do have something new in my Etsy shop while I am talking about it it is a twin soul reading for those of you that feel guided to purchase it. It is called the Sacred Union and it is available for $22.22, which, you know, 222 is my number of balance and harmony and love. Um, it pertains, it is my secret, sacred number for love. It is one of the first numbers that um, my guides showed me when I started the Twin Flame journey. So it's very significant for me. So that's why I made the reading 2222. So that's avail available for purchase on my Etsy shop. And um, it is an unlisted YouTube link, which you can watch as many times as you feel guided to. Um, you, all you have to do is once you pay, there's a little um, box where you can send me your email and I will send the reading directly to your email. And it's that simple. As soon as I get the payment and it goes through, like I can immediately send you the link from your email address and so you can watch it as many times as you want to so that's available for those of you that feel drawn in by the title everything that I do is for your highest good it's um I mean yes I I do enjoy the financial financial um benefits I get from it. I'm not gonna lie but I mean let's be honest I'm not gonna get rich <laughs> Or make a significant dent in my pocketbook for t with $22. <laughs> so most of these readings that I do are to assist you in your twin flame journey. Um, you know, that's a huge chunk of it. It's not, it's not, um, it's just an energetic benefit exchange for both of us. But like I said, $22 is, is, you know, I mean, yes, it's, it's a good energy exchange, but I feel like my readings are worth way more than $22. And so I make these available at that price so that they can be available to the masses right now because this is what I know Spirit is, is telling me to do. You guys need these messages and they're super important if you're on the Twin Flame journey. So, and this reading is almost an hour long, so I'm going to cut it and I love you guys.